folks in Port Wyneme, across from the Naval Base, is sporting a new look this evening. Today, the store became a special military family store. News Channel 3's Kelsey Gerkins joins us live to explain what the special designation means. Kelsey. Beth and CJ, this military family store in Port Wyneme is the 25th store in the entire nation to get this special honor. Starbucks tells me that the military family stores are meant to engage the military community. Jeremiah Reitz is a veteran. That to me meant the real thing. He spent four years with the U.S. Coast Guard serving our country. When he completed his service, he wanted to get a job that would allow him to work and go to school so that he could get a bachelor's degree. Starbucks saved my life. Um, I was going to UCSB as a student. They were there for me when I was living out of my car for six months, held me afloat. They were there for me while I got my degree from UCSB in sociology. They transferred me store to store to make sure that I can have opportunities to grow. While working at Starbucks, Reitz was able to get his degree in sociology and successfully land a job as a behavioral therapist. He says the flexibility Starbucks gave him and their support for him as a veteran was life-changing. You're going to honor me as a veteran? I would love that. I will be proud to wear that apron. And it sparked conversations between me and other people in uniform. And they said, you're a veteran? I didn't know that. They said, yeah, I'm a veteran just like you. Starbucks is on a mission to help other veterans like Reitz out. By 2018, its goal is to hire 10,000 veterans and military spouses. The coffee chain is also opening up special military-themed stores at locations near military bases. The big part about being a military store and for a family store is that we bring in the community together. So now we're giving other people the opportunity I once had. Starbucks has hired 6,500 veterans and military spouses since it started this veterans campaign. They will be opening their 30th military family store by the end of this year. Reporting live in Port Wyneme this evening, Kelsey Gerkins, News Channel 3. All right, thank you, Kelsey. What a great contribution. Yes. Car burglary.